Greetings viewers and thank you for tuning in today and I'm sure you're all curious about the question, what happens when you mix diesel fuel with gasoline? And this comes up because recently I read an article about a service station out in California, I believe it was, where the uh, delivery company that delivers the fuel had accidentally put diesel in place of gasoline in one of the tanks and several of the customers there ended up inadvertently putting diesel fuel in their vehicles and suffering issues as a result. So I'm going to talk about a little bit about what happens to your vehicle if this happens and also just actually physically see what happens when you mix diesel with gasoline. Stay tuned. Now the auto manufacturers and the filling stations have taken steps to try to prevent you from doing this accidentally. And one of the things that they've done is everything, at least here in the States, and I believe also Canada, uh, that is diesel is labeled in green. So if it's labeled in green, it usually means that it's diesel. Additionally, what they've done is the size of the filler neck and the size of the dispenser for the diesel fuel are different sizes. Uh, in fact, the diesel fuel dispenser is larger and won't go down inside of a gasoline filler neck. And they've done this to try to prevent you from doing it. But well, from my experience, this doesn't stop everybody from trying. Uh, to put diesel fuel in their gasoline powered vehicles. So now let's go over to the bench and see what happens when you mix the two fuels. Now there are different physical properties between the gasoline and the diesel. The gasoline is a lot thinner. In fact, it's more like a solvent and it has that distinctive odor. Diesel fuel is more like a very lightweight oil. In fact, I think the first fuel used in a diesel was a form of peanut oil. These physical differences come into play if you get diesel in your gasoline powered car. It's also not as combustible as gasoline. Gasoline has a lot more combustibility than diesel. Uh, and the reason for that is how a diesel engine works. A gasoline engine uses a spark plug to ignite the flame front and get things moving. A diesel uses the pressure uh, created by the compression within the engine to ignite the mixture. So in other words, it gets squeezed a whole lot, heats up a whole lot, and then this mixture ignites unlike this that gets lit off by a spark plug. So what happens when you get diesel in your gasoline system? Well, uh, because it is thicker like this, the fuel pump is gonna struggle to move this through the system. Then if you have an external fuel filter, it's gonna pretty much get clogged up with this oily substance. And then when it finally makes it to the engine, this will pretty much clog fuel injectors and make them inoperable, and that's what causes your engine to stop running. So you can run for a little while on diesel, but you're not really running on the diesel, you're just running on the rest of the gasoline that's in there until a diesel gets up there. What you need to do if you get diesel fuel in your gasoline vehicle is you need to completely drain the fuel system, completely drain the tank. Uh, if you had one of those external fuel filters, as I mentioned, it's gonna need to be replaced. And then you need to put the gasoline back in and start it up and hope everything is okay. A lot of times engine damage doesn't necessarily result in a gasoline system because like I said, the engine doesn't run on diesel. So your catalytic converter and all that kind of stuff won't necessarily get fouled out because I suspect your engine will stop running uh, before the diesel gets to the point where it's being combusted. But those are things that you've got to watch out for. Pretty much it's going to be your fuel system that's going to get wrecked uh, in this process. And once you drain it out and run the gasoline through it, hopefully everything is okay after that. Now let's see what happens when we mix these. All right, now I'm going to do this just like it would be if, uh, well, you went to a filling station and you accidentally put the diesel in your gasoline. So I'm going to turn this over to the side so you can see what's happening. So the diesel is going in. Look at that. You can actually see a reaction between these two. You can see them sort of not necessarily mixing. And maybe they did a little bit because the gasoline will sort of dissolve it uh, to a point, like I said, it's something like a solvent. So it will go in there. It doesn't look like it'll separate or anything, but trust me, when this starts going through your fuel system, that, it, that engine will not run for much longer. Uh, once this reaches injectors, like I said, it's all over. I feel I should add this in at this point, and that is a question that you might have. It's how much diesel fuel contamination is too much, and, and what is that tipping point? And I think that's a very difficult question to answer, but based on what we've seen earlier when we mix the two fuels and how easily they mix together, I would wager that a 50-50 mix is the most dangerous situation. So meaning if you had half a tank of gas and you added half a tank of diesel fuel, you topped it off, it almost seems to me like that might allow the engine to run for a period of time. And I think the real takeaway here is how long the engine runs uh, with the diesel fuel going through it. That's a really tough question to answer, but in my mind, based on what I just saw here with the two fuels mixing, it seems to me that as lo the longer the engine runs on diesel fuel, the more potential for damage that you have. So if you do accidentally put diesel in your engine, in your gasoline powered vehicle, 
just do not run it. Have it towed wherever it needs to be towed and, and get that fuel system taken care of. That's what I would recommend in that situation. Now when we poured these two things together, it sort of looked like they play nice, but they don't, trust me. Um, it, it may look like the diesel dissolved in this gasoline, but from what I've seen on the other side of this is whenever you get diesel in your gasoline system, it wrecks the fuel filter and sometimes fuel injectors and hopefully the engine didn't run for any period of time and, and cause damage to things like the catalytic converter or something like that. The fix is to drain all the fuel out of the system, flush everything out, refill it up with fuel, gasoline, and start it up and hope for the best is kind of where you got to go. What's a real, real issue is if you happen to put gasoline in your diesel vehicle. So if you put gasoline where diesel is supposed to go, like I said, diesel fuel ignites because of the extreme heat and pressure that, that squeeze that's put on this fuel. It gets hot enough and then it ignites. Gasoline is very volatile and will ignite way before the diesel fuel would. And as a result, it will detonate pre-ignition. Uh, not to mention a diesel fuel system is extremely sensitive and you run gasoline through it, it's gonna wash everything out. So you get gasoline in a diesel engine, it, the failure could be catastrophic if I'm honest. Uh, but if you get diesel in your gasoline, you might be okay once you've cleaned and flushed out the fuel system. I hope that information was useful to you. I'll put links in the description to additional information, additional videos, and things like that if you have other questions. If you have automotive questions not covered in this video, I ask that you head to airatthecarguy.com. Also linked down in the description. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with the world because it's so cool. <laughs> and be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.